Well, hey, this is Brandon from ProPreacher.com, and today I want to talk to you about the best pulpits for churches. Well, recently I took my church through a search looking for a new pulpit for our church to find the one that fits best for our ministry and our style of church. And so I thought I would show you just some of the best ones that I found, and hopefully that you will find one that is best for you and your church, depending on your style as well. There are basically five different styles of pulpits that you can use. There's your original kind of older wooden traditional style pulpits. Then you have a more modern, more see-through style pulpit that's made out of acrylic. Then you have your more heavy duty industrial looking metal pulpits. Then you can ditch the pulpit altogether that a lot of people are doing and go with a smaller table. It's a pub table pulpit. And then if you want to ditch that all together, some people are getting rid of all those and they're going straight up just a bar stool and uh, just sitting there on a chair, just them and their audience. So I want to walk you through some of the best ones I found in each of those five categories and hopefully this will help you find the best pulpit for your church as well. Your first kind of podium is your traditional podium. This is more like your wooden style, like a little bit more like what you would expect to see in a more traditional style church. And this isn't necessarily a bad style. It's just a little bit more traditional, a little bit more formal feeling, but it gives you that feeling of being in a church. And that's totally fine. It depends on your style. It's not necessarily my favorite, but it is a style that a lot of churches use. A lot of churches love that love that old tradition feel. And so here's a few churches that use them. I mean, for example, you have guys like John McCarthy, Arthur here, who stands behind a big, large wooden pulpit, and it works for him. Another example of a pastor who uses this style of pulpit is Kevin DeYoung. Big, large, wooden pulpit, hefty, weighty, very traditional feeling, very formal feeling, which works for his style of church. So if I were going to be looking for a wooden, more traditional style podium, here's a few that I looked at if we were going to go this style that I liked. Here's one on Amazon. It's a wood speaking lectern with drawer and storage in mahogany. And I just like the shape of this one. It's got like a cool kind of V-shape pattern. Still kind of traditional, but still nice. They also have a black version if you want to go a little bit more modern, but still have that old wood feel. Just got a nice spot where you can set your Bible, you can set your notes, you can set a glass of water, and it's got a fold-out drawer, which is kind of cool. So if you want to store anything in there, keep anything handy, microphones, whatever, you can stick it all in there. Now, if you want to go for a really traditional feeling style, here's another one. This is a maple hardwood standing full lectern with shelf in walnut stain finish, 44 inches. Now, one of the things you want to be looking at is the height. This is a 44 inch tall. So make sure you kind of measure, get a tape measure out or whatever, measure how tall you want this to be because you don't want to get one that's too tall. You don't want to get one that's too short. You want to measure yourself, measure the other, think about the other people who are going to be using this podium at your church and make sure you get the right size. Most of these more traditional ones tend to run a little bit taller. So this one's kind of nice. It's got a little shelf. You can stick your Bible in there like it shows. And then the front, if you see down there, it's got a cool little cross built into it. $413 though, because it's in, again, maple hardwood, which gets kind of expensive. It's not uh, cheap uh, manufactured stuff. This is expensive wood. So the next style of po podiums that you are going to see is more a modern acrylic. So it's going to be, the acrylic is going to be like a, a thick plastic that you can see through. So it makes it a little bit less of a barrier between you and your audience and gives it a little bit more of a modern feel. Now you got to be careful with some of the acrylics because there are some acrylic podiums that can really look like they're way back from like 1990s. Um, these are going to be a little bit more on the modern side. As you can see here, here is a picture of Craig Groeschel. The podium that he uses is an acrylic podium. It's got a nice uh, metal base, but but you can see, you can see through, if you look closely, you can see through that podium and you can actually see his notes or his iPad, it looks like, sitting behind there. The nice thing about this one, as you can see, is it's not too tall. So when you get that close-up shot from the camera, you can see it's kind of low down there. It doesn't get, it doesn't completely block him off. However, if you're looking at your notes a lot, if you use your notes a ton, you're going to be keeping your head way down to see something that low. So that's something you've got to keep into consideration. Here's another example of that style of podium. Again, this is Derwin Gray. And Derwin Gray, again, you can see if you look closely, he's also got that kind of modern looking acrylic podium. And as you can see there, it's a see-through kind of plastic one. He's even got a little tiny table for his water and stuff next to it that's kind of a similar style. 
Now, if you like that one that Craig Rochelle and Derwin Gray use, I actually found one that's pretty comparable. I don't know if it's the exact same one they use, but here you go. This is the Amplivox SN3196 24 inch reading surface acrylic steel column arc lectern with a 40 pound load capacity, which is pretty nice. It can hold 40 pounds. It means it's pretty sturdy. It's a 40 inch height, which is a pretty good height, and it's 24 inches wide, which is nice. And uh, I don't, I can't say that this is the exact same one that Craig Rochelle and Derwin Gray use. However, it's pretty darn close. Uh, it's maybe not quite as shiny, maybe a little bit different color, but see-through modern podium. Again, links to all these are going to be in the description of this video below. Let's move on to the third style, and this is the modern metal style. So this one's going to be a little bit more industrial look and feel, and this one's pretty common among some well-known preachers as well. Here's an example of David Platt. This is the podium that he uses. You see that's kind of like a metal truss built looking podium, all those metal bars and a nice big wide metal base, very sturdy, very solid. So here's another example. Look at this good looking guy. <laughs> here's, here's the podium that we just got for our church. And if you notice, it's very similar to the one that David Platt uses, possibly the exact same one, I think. And uh, it's that metal look. I like the look of this one. I like the feel of it. It's, it's a good, like little bit above your waist high height. And uh, we're, we're using it, we're loving it. It's a bit on the heavy side, so it takes a little bit of muscle to move it. I can move it, but if somebody's a little bit older, a little bit more, uh, uh, not as strong, they may have a little bit more difficulty moving. It may take a couple people to move it around. This is the Displays to Go black aluminum steel truss lectern with curved design and built-in shelf. This is 47 inches tall, so this is a little bit on the taller end of all the other ones we saw, especially uh, when you're using it, that top lip part right up there. You see it at the top lip part. That part gets pretty high. Um, but I like this one. This little shelf underneath is handy if you have a water bottle or something you need to use. I don't like putting anything there just so it looks clean, but some people enjoy doing that. As you see, there's an example of it. It's a it's a really good size, sturdy, stable. I mean, this thing is built like a tank. It's going to last for years. And they also have it if you want it in the... There you go. Here's your silver aluminum style. Again, if you want that more shiny look with some lights bouncing off of it, that might look kind of cool as well. So that's one of my favorites. If I, if I had to recommend a podium style, I would choose this one. Now, I also love using a pub table. In fact, if I had to choose between a podium or a pub table, I would probably choose the pub table. So the fourth example is the pub style table. And this is uh, really popular right now among, among a lot of preachers. Here's Louis Giglio. Here's him preaching. And you see right next to him, that's his pub table. Um, that one almost looks like a giant bar stool, but that's a, just a square table. It's got a, a metal bottom and a wooden top. Pretty nice looking, very simple, very clean, very, I like uh, just, it gives it, if you look, it gives it a much more casual feel. And a lot of pastors who preach off of these style tables, they'll stand next to the table instead of behind it. So it kind of removes that barrier that's between you and your audience. You're a little bit more vulnerable. You seem a little bit more raw, a little bit more relaxed, a little more casual, maybe a little more modern and trendy. And uh, But then you still have a nice tall table to keep your notes on and your Bible right there next to you. Here's a pastor named Mike Todd. He uses a pub table, but his is a glass top pub table. It's got this cool metal base and a nice glass top where he likes to sit. It looks like his iPad on a little iPad stand. This is the kind of table I like to use. Here's an example of the one we have in my church. Uh, it's more of a marble top with a metal base. I would pick a different one, but this is one we already had there when I got hired on staff. It does the job. It works. I just put my Bible on there with my notes tucked on top of my Bible, or if I use my iPad, I would set my iPad there, and I'm ready to go, ready to preach. It just feels good to me when I'm up there preaching. I feel like there's less of a barrier between me and the audience. I feel like I can interact with them a little bit more, get a little bit more animated without having to like hold on to that sturdy podium base in front of me, and I can stand off to the side, use my hands more. Here's some other ones that are good. If you're looking for more of that, what Mike Todd has, here's a one with a glass top that's $90. Again, still a lot cheaper than the other ones. And this one, the nice thing about this one is it has an adjustable height. So you can lower this down to 33.5 inches or up to 41 inches tall. This is the Flash Furniture 23.5 inch round adjustable height glass table. Now that's not my favorite. I wouldn't go with that choice, but some people like that. So that might be one that you really like. If I were going with a glass top though, that's a really good one and a really good deal. It's got some good ratings as well. But if I were going with the pub table, this is the one that I would choose. This is the one that would be on my wish list. This is the HomCom 42 inch high rustic industrial metal elm wood top bar height standing pub table that's a mouthful but this one again has got good reviews i love that this is an actual elm wood top solid met wood in construction 
all metal base there. It looks really nice, really clean. It's got that industrial look, but it's also got that rustic wood top that just, mm, that's good stuff right there. So if I were picking a pub table in, or anything to preach on, actually, um, this would be my number one pick. And the beauty of it is it's only $135, which is a lot cheaper than a lot of the other style podiums you'll find out there. But this one mm, just looks good. It's only 35 pounds, which isn't so bad. And man, it is just a beautiful, I mean, look at that, just a beautiful looking table. I could preach with that table right there. It's got that two feet, which is a really good width, 42 inches high. I like it tall like that. And look at that. That's just solid wood on that metal base. Good, solid, sturdy table. It's going to last you a really long time. However, if you would just throw away the tables entirely, that would bring you to, to the fifth option, and that is just have a bar stool that you can sit on or set your Bible on if you need quick access to grab your notes or your Bible. Right, so not a lot of pastors are willing to give this style a try because you kind of put yourself out there without any ability. If you're sitting on this thing, you've got nowhere to put your notes. You've got to have your sermon down pat. You've got to be able to preach almost with no notes entirely. And there's one pastor who's really kind of popularized this style, and that is Andy Stanley. As you can see here, Andy Stanley's just sitting on a bar stool next to his big TV monitor, and he uses that kind of as notes to reference his main talking points or to read his scripture or interact with his audience. And it's a really cool style sitting there next to your TV screen, just hanging out on a chair. You can get up off the if you want to, you could set your Bible on that chair if you'd like to have that with you. If I were to pick a bar stool, it would be this one, the Flash Furniture 30-inch high backless black metal indoor outdoor bar stool with square seat. I actually have one of these in my house that's all blue. We use it a little bar top. Uh, countertop that we have in our kitchen. It's wonderful. Um, and the beautiful thing about this one is it's got all sorts of different colors. So you got black and antique gold, you got blue, you got copper, you got, you could pick whatever color you want here. Just all, so many different options, more rustic, beat up looking ones, or more modern, clean, bright colors, dark colors. I mean, this is the one I would go for. It's only $47, which is the cheapest thing at at all. And at 30 inches high, it's still pretty good with like a little bit below your waist, maybe depending on how tall you are. I'm about six feet tall. So if you want to go a little bit more higher end and you want to get something that's got maybe a little bit of a back to it, I wouldn't suggest doing a high back unless you're going to be sitting there leaning back casual. But um, if you're more preaching um, and you're going for something that just has a good look to it, this is, this is the one that I would pick if I wanted to go a little bit more high budget. And this is a 130 seven dollar um, but i would choose this one over those other ones again it's kind of a similar style as the others but this one uh has this cool wooden top to it and also a little bit of a small lower back rest uh, that just has a really nice look and feel to it and so this is the one i would pick if i was going with a higher budget here's another few other angles here you can see the wooden top right there just really nice real good looking table. This is the Baxton Studio Bar Stools, one size with oak brown slash gunmetal gray, which is pretty cool. I like that oak wood. Again, this is 36.22 inches tall, but I think down here it's more like 30 inches at the seat height. Um, just a nice size, nice sized bar stool for if you're using it to preach from. So this would be, if you're picking a bar stool, this would be my top pick. Well, there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you found that helpful. If you like this channel and you want more content like this, don't forget to subscribe or hit that like button for me. Or if you're really interested in more content like this, go to ProPreacher.com. We've got a whole bunch of bonus resources for you, a sermon prep checklist, and a whole bunch of other things like free sermons, sermon ideas, and other things like that. Thanks. I'll catch you in the next one.